looking at a subdued Socceroos dressing room after the match, but only moments earlier the Aussies had escaped disaster in Kunming. Schwartz has saved it. Again, he's the hero from the penalty spots. Two crucial saves against Uruguay in the World Cup qualifier in 2005, and he repeats the dose in China. I just try to wait as long as possible. Um, obviously, he didn't hit as far in the corner as I thought he would. And luckily, um, you know, with, with uh, hitting my legs, it sort of came back towards me as well. So I was able to grab it on the second attempt. So, you know, it was fortunate. But again, you know, you got to ride your luck sometimes. The headlines may have been different for Mark Schwarzer after his clumsy effort in the penalty box prompted the referee to point to the spot in the 89th minute. But the Middlesbrough keeper made amends to give the Socceroos a vital away point. I think the boys today have really, really spirited performance. Um, really proud of them. I think uh, we came here with a lot of obstacles. I think we overcome them, put in a, f a really professional performance. It had been a chaotic build-up. Illness, injury and altitude had all seemed to be conspiring against the Australians. But they did have their chances. Mark Bresciano couldn't cap off some neat work from Brett Holman in the 25th minute. Real chance for Australia. David Carney's casual stoppage time effort denied the Socceroos an unlikely win. Would have liked to bring home the three points. That was our objective before the game. But um, after maybe Schwartzy saving their, their dodgy penalty, and uh, we had maybe half a chance, so I think it's fair enough uh, the draw for both teams. The Australians' gutsy performance was even more creditable, considering they lost their only striker inside 10 minutes when Archie Thompson limped off following an ugly challenge. In some cases you can even see a red for that. If that didn't deserve a red card, then surely Sanji High's studs up challenge on Luke Wilkshire in the second half did. That's a, That's a very dangerous tackle, two four two. That's a red card. It's a straight red. Not according to the ref though. But the Chinese were unable to capitalise on their fortune. The nil all draw leaving Australia on top of the so-called group of death. Richard Brack, Fox Sports News. It's the draw that was considered a win and to tell us all.